everyone, it's Nick Sims, and this is part two of Modern and Natural. Um, so in this section, we'll actually be doing the four, four year area, and I have changed this area up quite a bit um, throughout this video. I was trying to figure out what would work and what wouldn't, um, and in the end, I think it came out pretty good um, have a gorgeous painting on the wall and um, a chandelier so currently right now I am trying to put a um, I'm using a, a table console or a TV console um, in the services section of um, my custom content and I don't it doesn't stay this way but um, I'm just cycling through different types um, that would actually fit in this three um, three by one space. And as you can see, mostly everything is a lot bigger than three by one. And the things that do fit, um, I end up not not keeping, or um, it doesn't, or it doesn't f fill out the whole three spaces. It's spaces. It's like two words today gosh um so I really liked that table that was in there and but it was just way too long and um I put this one down I was like no that that wouldn't work at all and um this one almost fit and that would have been perfect um, either it was far too large for the space or far too small and I thought about putting that desk one with the little cubby holes. Um, and then I leave this, I put that top one back and then just the table. And I really like this table and I decided that I wanted it on the other side of the room and not on the side that it's currently at. Um, and now I'm looking for some lighting and I wanted to put a, a chandelier in the middle of the the entryway so that the first thing you do when you walk in is you see this gorgeous chandelier and this is the one that I wanted to use it seemed like it would fit the space perfectly um, a little bit contemporary and elegant and I start decorating this table on this side of the room with some light fixtures and um, I couldn't find one that I liked. I put this in there and I thought it doesn't really fit. Um, and I just wanted to like put some random items on the table to decorate them. Um, just some clutter to fill the space up and a shoe rack um, and maybe a coat rack as well I thought would go in the space. So I shoved these two together and I use the, the male and the female so that they look like it's all completely one, um, one shoe rack. I'm trying to find a carpet for this section. Um, there are so many different ones and I thought, well, I don't want something that'll be overpowering in that small area that's three by three space or three by four, I think it is. Um, yeah, three by four space. So I just stick with this round rug and then trying to find a floor that would go throughout the house and still make it look um, modern. It was a little bit difficult. There's so many different floor types. Um, I liked that dark wood. So then I decided, well, maybe I should change the rug because it's too much brown in this one section. and. And then I was like, no, I really want a light wood. So that means I had to change the carpet again <laughs> to a darker color. Um, right now I'm trying to finalize what kind of floor I wanted on this area. So I put that light, that light wood and then a dark carpet. Still two shades of brown, but um, I need something that contrasted with each other. Now picking walls. Um, I used this kind of dark gray purple wall and on this section kind of have like an accent area um, 
and I used a different gray throughout parts of the the house something that was actually just a little bit darker than what is in the foyer now I'm trying to find a surface to put on the other side of the hallway um, like a rack and I looked at that one and I didn't like it so now I was like, well, maybe we can just put a, a gigantic painting on the wall and trying to find or art piece, art piece, something to fill that large empty space. I love that green photo that's leaning up against the, the wall. That one actually doesn't end up staying, but I uh, keep that one in mind for future reference. Now these paintings are gorgeous and I thought, well, why don't I put this large modern contemporary piece in here and instead of having the shoe racks, I decided, well, now it needs a, um, it needs a table underneath it. And then two tables in the room just seemed like it was way too overpowering. So I put that one on the, underneath the painting and I removed the photo that's leaning up against the wall because it, it obviously you don't want to have two pictures like leaning up against each other or two different Two completely different pictures. Um, just getting some lighting in here, um, something to lighten up this small place. Even though that chandeliers are in there, it still seemed kind of uh, dark. And trying to find, I thought maybe I should just get some seating on this side of the room. And I like that bench, but it didn't fill the space up enough. And I ended up just putting um, two little square ottoman pieces, I believe, for this portion of the video. That couch I put in there and it just didn't, it didn't seem like it fit the room, which a lot of this video is things that don't fit. <laughs> Maybe I should I'd write that, it's just things that don't fit. <laughs> should be the name of this video. Um, so I found those two ottoman pieces and I was like, man, those, those could go um, if I could try to st stick them close together. And then I end up removing that top wall piece um, and putting this mirror that I'll find um, that one right there. I thought that was gorgeous, so. I wanted to stick that in and um, the two lights still looked okay and I want to see if maybe I could find another wall piece to put on there but um, I think less is more in this case so it's me just trying to find some photos to put along the side and eh, it didn't really work out but um, this home is actually available on the gallery for you to download if you do hashtag modern and natural or hashtag Nick Sims you'll be able to find the the photo there um, or the the home on the gallery is where you'll be able to find that you can um, also please like and subscribe this video if you enjoyed what you watched here today uh, please take check out my other videos and um, so I hope everybody has an amazing day, night, whenever you're watching this. So um, thanks for watching.